<clears throat> why use immersion oil and light microscopy? Uh, it has to do with a concept called refraction. Light moving through air or through glass or through oil will move at different um, speeds. And as it goes through those refractive properties, they can move and alter their trajectory. So on the bottom left little uh, diagram, you'll see lights coming through. And the more light you collect going up through the objective lens into the ocular for you to see, the better the resolution you have. So as the light passes through the glass of the slide and hits the specimen laying right on top of that, if it hits air, it has a different refractive index and it moves. So you're losing some of those light waves. If you use immersion oil, the diagram on the right, the oil has the same refractive index as the air. So the light going through is collected by the oil and it's moving in the same trajectory so it actually enters the oil immersion lens and you're collecting more light which gives you much better resolution. So that's why we use immersion oil on the um, oil lens. You should, if you call me over to look at a slide, you should make sure that the oil lens is touching the oil but it's not squished down on the slide because that can scratch the lens and cause problems. So you'll get all of those descriptions in the lab. But basically it has to do with refraction. Anybody ever watch any of the old MacGyver episodes? MacGyver would come on smoked glass and he would, there was always a can of oil sitting next to it. If you use motor oil on smoked glass, it changes the refractive index so you can see through the smoked glass. Same concept.